happens at midnight on Friday. So joining us now, a Democrat in Congress, Maryland Congressman Anthony Brown, who has also served two terms as Maryland's lieutenant governor. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming in. So who, who blinks in this case? Anyone? Look, um, what we know, a, a few things. One is that there is bipartisan support to keep the government open, uh, Democrats and Republicans in Congress. We also know that there's bipartisan opposition to the president's request for a border wall. Right now, it's in the president's court. Last week, as you mentioned, he took pride in the fact that he could shut down government. To date, he has not offered an alternative to keep government open. And we know from his previous statements before he was president that the president assumes responsibility for shutdowns. Uh, so um, right now, you've got Republican in the White House, Republicans controlling Congress, and it's their responsibility to keep government open. And that's certainly what my constituents understand to be the case. I got a lot of federal government employees. We cannot shut down government. The president wants $5 billion for the wall. Democrats say we're willing to give $1.6 billion. That $3.4 billion in the balance is literally, when we look at the budget, it is such a small piece of the budget. So candidly, Congressman, is this about money or is this simply about taking a stance on the wall? Well, keep in mind again, Steve, the opposition, the unwillingness to, to fund that additional $3.4 billion, it's not just Democrats. Republicans in Congress, particularly in the Senate, have rejected the president's request for $5 billion. He ran on a campaign promise that Mexico would pay for the wall. Now he's coming back to the American people and say, I want $5 billion this year, I want $50 billion overall. Both Republicans and Democrats reject that. Is anyone in Congress pressing the Mexico will build the, mall, the wall since you brought it up? I mean, it's not a real uh, a press because no one in, in Congress is pressing to build the wall. Uh, certainly, though, when the conversation comes up and as the and makes the request, you've got to counter with, well, what about your claim that Mexico would pay for the wall? Uh, but there are no, there's, no, there's, there's, there's no majority in Congress, Republicans or Democrats, that support building the wall. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough scenario right now because, as we've learned in the past, when there's a shutdown, nobody wins, regardless of party, because it's the workers and the workforce who end up on the short end of things. There's no election coming up in the near future. Is it a, a, how do you approach it with the standoff now between the parties? Does somebody give in at some point? Do we ride this through? Do we look for another CR? What strategy is there? Well, look, the way I approach it is if a CR, a continuing resolution, is what we need to do, then let's do it. Because there are 300 to 400,000 federal government workers. There are federal contractors. Maryland, state that I represent, has the fifth largest number of federal government employees. And they do not deserve to be on furlough and run the risk of not getting paid. We're talking about customs inspectors at the Port of Baltimore. We're talking about food inspectors. We're talking about diplomats overseas. But it's not only those who work for the federal government. Small business loans won't be processed. Home mortgages won't be processed. We're coming up in the end of the month when many mortgages close. So Americans will be hurt by a shutdown. So it's 11 p.m. on Friday night. We're in the same position that we are right now on a Tuesday morning. No matter what anybody in Congress's efforts are, the president still has the loudest microphone and he's going to use it and he's going to try to put the blame fully on the Democrats. You might say Democrats and Republicans alone, you know, together don't want the wall. He's going to try to put the blame on Democrats. So what do Democrats do then to not absorb the blame in this situation if it, if it happens? Well, first of all, he's already accepted the blame. Last week he said he was proud, he would be proud to shut down government. Um, he accepted the blame even before he was president when he rightfully pointed out that the president has the responsibility to keep the government open. Does that empower Democrats, though, when the president says, I'm taking the blame on this? Then does that empower Democrats to say, OK, take the blame. We're standing our ground. Look, it, the what empowers Democrats is by doing the right thing, which is finding bipartisan uh, support, which there is in Congress to keep government open and in a bipartisan way to, to oppose the wall. They're not mutually exclusive because the Senate has already passed such a measure. So it's a, now it's about the president coming on board. If government is shut down, this is the responsibility uh, of the president. We're going to have to wrap it up. Uh, what's your thought? If things don't change between now and Friday, or will things change between now and Friday? Do you think a deal will get done, or do you think the government will shut down? deal has to get done. We cannot shut down government. Uh, and I'm certainly uh, hopeful that the, the president will uh, come around on this. He's getting a lot of pressure from, rightfully so, from Republican leaders in the Senate uh, to do the right thing. We can't shut down government. Appreciate you joining us, as always. Maryland Democrat Anthony Brown. Democrat